Hello, my friends. I'm Jonathan Esquivel. I'm a prosthodontist from New Orleans, Louisiana. First and foremost, I wanted to say that I wish that every single one of you, wherever you are in the world, are safe, that you're with your loved ones and that you're taking care of yourself. The whole world is going through a very, very hard moment right now. But let's see this from a positive standpoint. Let's see this like a reset button to change the way we live our life, to put things into perspective, and of course, to see the way or change the way we work. I think dentistry is gonna be very different from this point on. It's gonna be different because we're gonna treat our patients differently, we're gonna communicate differently, and we're gonna be careful about things we probably were not careful before. Today, I'm gonna to give you a clinical tip, and it's a clinical tip on dental implants. Even though today we no longer use cement retained crowns as much as we did, sometimes we still need them. If we're gonna do a cement retained crown, we gotta be very careful with the cement. We gotta pick the right cement, design the abutment the right way, and have a good technique. A good technique was introduced to us many years back, which was basically doing a jig to deliver the crown outside of the mouth, clean the excess, and bring it into the mouth. The problem with this technique was that it was very hard to replicate the space for the cement that the technician had made into put into our crowns. The tip today is how to fabricate that jig, taking into account that space for the cement. And it's very simple. All you have to do is take the abutment that the lab gave you, the crown that the lab gave you, place a little bit of glycerine on the abutment and light body material on the crown and tabular surface. Seat the crown on the abutment, wait for it to set. Once it's set, you're gonna retrieve the abutment from the crown and the crown is gonna have a lining of light body material. That lining of light body material is the space that the lab technician has left for cement. What you do next is you inject a little bit of bisacryl, place a, any type of device like a micro brush and wait for that bisacryl to set. Once you remove it, you're gonna have a jig that has taken into account that space for the cement. All you do then is just place the cement of your choice in the crown, seat it on the jig, remove the excess, and then deliver it in your patient's mouth. I hope this is useful for you. And once again, I wanna wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay home. And when this is over, let's start with all the energy. Thank you very much.